Good morning. Today we are trying out the Poor Man's GPS, which is Microsoft Streets and Trips with GPS support. As you can see, we've got Microsoft Streets and Trips already loaded on the computer here, and we have the GPS connected on the windshield of the car, running into the USB port on the computer. To start the GPS, you simply go up to the GPS button. It brings up a GPS dashboard and you will click start GPS tracking. At that point, the GPS starts looking for satellites and it will direct guidance. You'll notice the map view has changed and we'll click the button here that says arrange map view so that it will rotate with us while we're driving. For a quick demonstration on driving, we'll go ahead and head out. The nice thing about Microsoft Streets and Trips is it will give you driving guidance and will allow you to search for a location and will give you turn-by-turn -turn directions. The one challenge that we've noticed, and it's probably a laptop issue, is that the voice is very quiet. So the option of listening to the radio or holding a conversation at the same time is pretty much not available. From what we've seen, the street coverage in Microsoft Streets and Trips is actually pretty good. Considering this program sells typically for less than $100, it's a very good alternative to buying a $1,000 GPS system. Now, of course, you do have to have your laptop open with you in your car all the time, which makes it less than desirable. As you can see, the blinking dot turns into an arrow showing your, your direction of travel. Microsoft Streets and Trips also shows parks and other items along the way. It is selectable so that you can change what you see when you're driving. It shows restaurants, banks, parks, anything else that you would like. Up in the top left hand corner of the screen, it does give you an option to type in the address. Down in a lower section on the left, it gives you multiple addresses that you can select. It remembers recent addresses. If you do type something into this area, for example, let's type in a town close to where we are. Mount Vernon, Washington. Click go. It will bring up a list of acceptable locations. We'll select Mount Vernon. At which point it creates a trail and will give you turn-by-turn -turn directions on the way. Overall, not a bad program, something that can be used very effectively. Um, it is a little bit cumbersome to have to have your laptop with you. In future reviews, we'll review a phone-based system that allows you to have GPS on your phone. Thank you for watching.